All right, so this is sunset in a bag if you missed it today. First step is just to put about 60 milliliters of water in your bag. The very first reaction we see is just between phenol red and water. When I drop the phenol into here, you can see it automatically starts to disperse. This is just a physical change because all that's happening is our phenol is uh, just simply kind of spreading out. So you make observations in your chart about what's going on here. How do you know it's a physical or a chemical change? Well, we know it's physical because nothing new has formed. Yeah, the water changed color, but simply just because we made a mixture. We just mixed together these two substances, water and phenolphthalein. So that's reaction number one. Okay, reaction number two involves calcium chloride. So I'm just going to dump some out on the table right here. I don't know if you can see it very well. This is calcium chloride. It looks a lot like Dippin' Dots. Um, it's also the same thing that is in Damperid. So I fill up my cup with some calcium chloride. I'm going to add it here to my bag. I'm going to close up my bag. You can kind of already see there's some new colors forming where that calcium chloride is. And I also want to make note of other observations like it's getting hot. It's getting very warm. I'll just do my, my gentle sloshing. Give it a little, a little mix up there. I want to get all these solids to dissolve. Now, a lot of students told me today that it's a, a physical change only because there's dissolving, because the solid dissolves. Yes, the solid dissolves, but when it dissolves, there's a clear temperature change and a clear color change. So that's how we know that this one is chemical, because we see a color change and a temperature change. It can't just be physical. So that's reaction number two. Reaction number three involves sodium bicarbonate, which you all learned was uh, baking soda. So I'm just going to pour a little bit out right here. You can see it's a very uh, different solid than the other one. It's like a powdery solid, you know, not crystally. Boyd Lacrosse will be meeting in Mr. Witten's room. Boyd Lacrosse will be meeting in Mr. Witten's room. As soon as I add it to the bag, we see a definite change. We also see our bag starts to expand, 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 expand. So I got to let a little bit of that gas out so we can clearly see formation of a gas. Kind of smells just a little bit. It's bubbling, 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 bubbling. Just going to let it keep doing its thing for a second. A lot of the kids said orange juice, but just like we talked about earlier, just because it looks like orange juice doesn't mean it is orange juice. So now it's starting to calm down. The bubbling is, you know, slowing down a little bit. And that's the end of reaction number three. Clearly a chemical change. Um, not only does a uh, our reaction bubble and change color, but it gets cold. It's actually cold, whereas the last one was very warm. And I've still got some uh, colors there.
Got to mix all those in there. All right, so on to the fourth one, which is uh, the prettiest one. We're going to add just a couple of pellets of uh, sodium hydroxide. Sodium hydroxide is a strong base. Um, it is corrosive if you get it on your hands. So I'm just going to get a little bit out with my spoon here. I don't know how well you can really see it, but the solid is uh, white. It's uh, very opaque. It's round. It's smooth. It's uniform. We don't want to ever touch it though because it really could um, sort of hurt hurt our hands. So that's why I came around and give this gave this one to you guys. And look, our uh, bag here it's got some orange color to it now. So we have some pale solids and the uh, orange looking solution, the liquid. So I'm going to go ahead and add sodium hydroxide close up my bag and as I told you guys real gentle sloshing and what ends up happening is the final product is this beautiful fuchsia really a mixture if you let this thing sit for a minute, which uh, I'll go ahead and just let it sit for a second, you can already see it happening. There's separation. So this is a suspension. It's a heterogeneous mixture at the end. We have solids at the bottom. You can see them starting to separate out. And then we have this beautiful fuchsia solution floating to the top. So that's partially why it's called sunset in a bag. You kind of have this nice little sandy white beach at the bottom and then a pretty little color change representative of the sky. And that is sunset in a bag. So if you were absent, there's now no excuse for not filling out your data table and doing all of the parts of this lab.